Well, the whole experience was, in the end, it was really great. Um, to finish was probably the best part. Uh, the, the whole, it was very stressful, the lead up, everything to do with the last 12 months was pretty intense. But to actually go and finish and make it to the individual final was amazing. I couldn't be happier with how my horse was. He really looked after me and yeah, it was, it was great. I think the final three months, I didn't really sleep much. And once we actually got into the games, it, I didn't sleep much at all. It was sick the morning of the first first day, and I was more nervous before it actually started. Um, once I walked the first course, I started to relax a bit because I knew what was coming. But it was more the fear of the unknown, I guess. It, I don't, I didn't know what was coming, so I was, yeah, I was very nervous. <laughs> Of course, like in the final three weeks, I was think, said, said to my parents on more than one occasion that I never wanted to do this again, but <laughs> naturally. Um, a few weeks after, we're already making plans for Rio, and I am really, really lucky to have a horse like Vidor that looked after me so well at the games. There was every situation he handled perfectly, and I was, I was very lucky. Um, the first day was, was, it was always big, but when you ride a horse like him, they don't look as big as they probably would look on some other horses. Um, the team's competition was very big and very tough, and the individual final, when I walked out there, I, I really did go, it, yeah, the individual final was huge. It was very, very big. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I'm, I've pretty much committed to the next four years to base in Germany or in Europe in general. Um, I head back to Europe in November for a run of shows with my young rider who's riding here also. I'm coaching her here, Georgie Harvey, and she'll come with me and then next year we'll both come back and just focus on the global tour because we're, we're trying to put a bit of a project together to also try and get her to Rio. And um, so we're going to work together and spend the next four years doing that over there. Yep, um, between Georgie and I, we've got six horses over there. Um, and we'll probably, the number will change throughout the next 12 months um, from six plus or something. And then, um, sorry, I've just got people behind you that are distracting me. Yeah, that's what Georgie and I will both do that next year. And um, we'll probably aim to do that every year until in the lead up to, to Rio. You couldn't get better preparation events really. The shows are amazing, the courses are really world class and you get to actually be surrounded by the best riders in the world so you learn a lot just from sitting on the sidelines to be honest.